very good day to everybody this is all about the uh, uh, google scholar uh, the website is actually scholar.google.com or alternatively you can type uh, google scholar and this is the first search result that comes okay so by creating an account in google scholar you can index all your research publications you can uh, add uh, maybe conference articles journal articles books book chapters uh, theses dissertations uh, also you can go for you know indexing patterns as well okay and google scholar is a powerful platform okay right. so this is all about google scholar maybe if i uh, if I go to scholar.google.com, I have already logged in to my personal account, my personal Gmail account. So I have already created my uh, Google Scholar profile here. So that's the reason. Whenever I type uh, scholar.google.com, like uh, when I log in to my personal account, then you know my uh, image or maybe the icon comes over here. Maybe I can click on this my profile. Okay, so. Whenever I click on this uh, my profile, I have this name. Okay. Uh, try to understand that uh, this one, the name, uh, what I'm trying to mention. Okay. It is Christo Anand. It is, it is not Doctor Christo Anand or maybe C. Dot Anand or maybe uh, maybe C. A. Something like that. Okay. I'm not mentioning it as uh, different names, but I'm mentioning it as a very common name. Okay. So I am Christo Anand. So I have mention it as Christo C H R A S T O space Anand. Okay. And I have the affiliation over here and I have the verified email. Okay. Uh, here you can have your uh, website. Okay. Maybe if you have the university website, okay, maybe XYZ dot com. Okay, let us take in the case. Okay. So, so if you have an email ID at uh, you know maybe XYZ dot com, okay. So you can actually verify it okay try to understand that you cannot enter your personal mail id like gmail or maybe yahoo mail or maybe hotmail something like that you cannot enter but you should have your academic mail id okay so once you enter your academic mail id then it will send a verification email okay so in the inbox you will have your email and if you click on verify then when you visit this Google Scholar profile, you will have the verified email. Okay, at the, maybe I have my own personal website, Christodon.com. So that's the reason I have uh, my mail ID contact at the rate of Christodon.com. So that's the reason I have my uh, verified email at uh, Christodon.com. Okay. And here I have my home page. Maybe if I click on this home page, I can uh, have my uh, you know website even. Okay, I can have a link to my website even. Even uh, you can have the uh, link of your you know, website also. Okay? So for example, if you are having your institutional website, that you that also you can include okay, in the home page. Here I have mentioned two research areas like uh, medical image processing and cooperative networks. Normally, uh, many researchers will do this mistake. Like uh, they will be uh, inputting several research areas, okay, maybe like uh, uh, computer science, or maybe Python, C++, Java, okay, or uh, maybe PHP, okay, SQL, MySQL, okay. So you, they will be inputting several research areas, and uh, uh, it doesn't look good. So you, not naturally, uh, you can say a researcher is proficient is in a bit two or maybe more uh, research areas so you cannot be proficient in all the research areas i hope you get it okay. so try to mention specific areas in which uh, you are excellent at for example if i click on this medical image process okay, i will have a list of all the profiles which are having like more citations in this medical image processing field. Even if I click on this cooperative networks, okay, I can have a list of all the profiles who are having uh, more citations in the field of cooperative networks. For example, here, like uh, there is a Chinese uh, uh, 
uh, author who has got some more publications, uh, you know, more citations than me. Okay, so uh, his name comes first. Okay, and after that, my name comes. Okay, so it's 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 all about how you uh, categorize or maybe how you specialize yourself. Okay, in this way. So you mentioned uh, all these research areas in common. Okay, and uh, you try to include all these articles. And here uh, in the Google Scholar, you have uh, like uh, citations, you have h-index and then you have item index. So this is the uh, key watch that you have to look through. Okay. Actually in the citations column or maybe the citations area, this is where most of the institutions, most of the organizations would have to have a key note at. Because uh, whenever you are trying to index all these uh, you know, research publications, you will have this, uh, you know, the citations being increased uh, whenever uh, any of the researcher tries to cite your article. Okay. So this is the way where everybody wants to follow and uh, this uh, citations is normally any institution would have a look at. Maybe any university, maybe in this academic year, okay, maybe in this semester or maybe in the academic year, how many citations the particular faculty member has or maybe how many citations the particular researcher has. Even in the company, they will ask, okay, how many citations do you have? So, if, you, if I just point it, I am getting the description. This is the number of citations to all publications. The second column has the recent version of this metric, which is the number of new citations in the last five years. Okay. So, starting maybe uh, 2017, I have like 232 uh, citations. Okay. Altogether, I have like 464 citations. And if I point to H index, okay, that it, it, it also has a description. So, which means like uh, at least <coughs> H publications have at least five H citations. The meaning is at least 13 of my publications have 13 citations okay. and then since 2016, 17, okay. and then I have the I10 index, okay. it is the number of publications with at least 10 citations which means at least 20 of my articles have at least 10 citations. Okay. So in the institution wherever you are associated with, in the institution wherever you are working with, they will ask how many citations you have with Google Scholar. How many H index you have? How many? Uh, how much I10 index? You have. Okay, so last five years, what is the data also? So like uh, I have my citations over here. That's also a graph that you can do. So and uh, I can even change the profile uh, image, you know, display pic as well. And here I have the you know the title. So, according to the title, uh, it will be there. Okay. Even I can click on the year, maybe uh, like uh, decreasing order of uh, uh, publications, I can have them. Okay. And uh, if I if I try to click on this uh, particular article, I can have its description, like author's name I have, publication date, journal name, pages, description I can have. Okay. And then <coughs> the scholar articles, which means that this article has been indexed in Google Scholar. Similarly, in the internet, okay, in the um, you know the website where my research article was published, it is going to get the information. Okay, so whenever I try to index this research article in Google Scholar, then it will search for its title. It will search for the author name, and immediately it will reference. Okay this article, what the author means is from this website. So, when I click on this uh, link, I am getting uh, access to the website where the uh, research article has been published. So, <laughs> similarly, related articles also I can have, all two versions I have. For example, this article has been indexed in maybe two or three platforms like uh, maybe SlideShare or maybe ISSC. Okay. Something like that, I can I can get the versions. Okay, for example, here I can I have the version. Okay, so there are two versions of the same article. I can have a note. Okay. So when you are trying to 
uh, you know input the title okay make sure you input the correct title okay for example here in the plus column okay i can see like add article groups add articles add articles manually configure article updates for example if i click on this add article groups okay maybe if i am typing uh, it gets automatically typed okay christian okay within double quotes if i if i type try to type uh there are uh, there are no uh, articles which are uh, visible okay maybe if uh, there are articles which are visible i can directly add them but make sure you add the uh, the correct article relevant to your name okay don't try to add article of somebody okay try to add the article of yours then it's better for you okay. right so if it is visible means i can click on the check box and i can click on the stick mark so it gets automatically added uh, many of the researchers they do it knowingly or they do it unknowingly also like uh, unknowingly they try to add the research articles of themselves or they might add it knowingly so as to show a fake uh, 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 citations so as to show a fake count of publications so my suggestion is that don't do this one okay try to add the research publications which you have authored so this is add article groups okay maybe i can click on this add articles also okay maybe my name gets automatically displayed i can type within double quotes so so it shows it, it is it is in profile okay it, it is also in profile okay maybe i can go with this one okay i can go right right no this all no everything i have added in my profile which means that these are my research articles for example if i see over here this is uh, displayed uh, you know visibly but uh, you should note that these are the research articles which i have not indexed okay maybe if there is my name i can click on this tick mark symbol and i can click on this tick mark symbol but these are not my research articles but i can say these are the research articles which has cited my paper okay which has my name inside it okay so i cannot add them okay but you know you should have you know a list of suggestions okay so you can add them according or maybe you can go with add articles manually Okay. when you go with add articles manually you have like different sections like you have journal you have conference you have book chapter uh, book even theses or dissertations okay. pattern court case for example if you are doing law okay then you can add a court case okay. and uh, you can also click on other maybe if it comes under newspaper articles or maybe magazine articles you can add them in the in the section for example if i click on this journal okay maybe i can input the title okay make sure that you try to input the correct uh, uh, you know title okay correct title don't uh, maybe include an extra hyphen or maybe omit some words okay make sure you enter the correct title and the author section okay the author section maybe if uh, if i have like uh, crystal on okay right so i can do like the presto space on okay and i can press this comma okay and afterwards i can enter the name okay but the best practice is that if you, if you see the example it has patterson david which means that the name is david patterson okay and similarly leslie lambert but here they have given last name comma first name okay last name comma first name and then semicolon so i have to press it as anand comma restore and then immediately followed with a semicolon okay right maybe if i have another name Right, uh, maybe um, uh, 
terus uh, maybe uh, maybe same uh, ah Ahmed. Let us take in the case Ahmed Kobuljan. Okay, let us take in the case. So if the name is Ahmed Kobuljan, I have to write it as Kobuljan Ahmed. So I can go with Kobuljan comma Ahmed. Okay, and then I can go with semicolon. Okay, so this is how you enter the names okay only then it will correctly identify the name okay for example uh, if that particular person has only cobalt john then maybe cobalt after cobalt john you press same code so this is how you enter the name okay and uh, make sure you type the last name first name and then same code and the publication date there are three formats okay now, uh, either you enter the year or maybe the month and year or maybe you enter the date, month and year. But you know, enter in the uh, you know, descending fashion. Maybe like the, maybe if it is 25th January 2022, it is uh, maybe you can enter 2022 or maybe you can type 2022 slash 01 or you can type 2022/01/22. So this is how you can enter. And similarly, the journal name you can enter. Okay. <laughs> Make sure that you enter the correct journal name. The volume number, issue number, pages. Pages means you have to take like 53 to 60, or maybe 1225 to 1231, something like that. Okay. And the publisher name also you mention it correctly. Even you, you can index your conference articles. Okay, you can go with the chapters even. Okay, you can enter this one also. Uh, even with the books also, you can uh, type the title. You can go with authors. Okay, you can go with the publication date, volume uh, number, you know, pages even you can do that. Even you can go with thesis as well. You know, the authors, publication date, institution, title even you can do that. Patent also you can do. For example, if you have <clears throat> come up with uh, some innovative products okay some new inventions then you can go with patterns okay so you should know the title name the inventors make sure you enter the last name comma first name semicolon okay publication date or maybe with month or with year patent office you have to select maybe if it is uh, uk or us or australian or canada or maybe indian um, uzbek or russian whatever maybe you can you can enter and uh, pattern number make sure you enter the pattern number not the application number uh, many would uh, make a mistake over here it is pattern number so pattern number gets generated only if the particular product or maybe the pattern gets granted okay only then you will have the pattern number else if you don't have a pattern number don't fill this section and then in the application number make sure you enter the application number correct and then for example if you are doing law then you can do your pending court cases okay like decided date when it is being decided who is the reporter and what is the docket id you can enter okay for example if it doesn't fall into any of the categories like uh, maybe if it is a, a newspaper article or maybe magazine article or maybe maybe any membership you are trying to showcase in your google scholar profile you can do that maybe you can have the title you can have the list of authors okay, and you can have the publication date what is the source where is the source no? the yeah, website where it is being uh, taken and the report number for example if it has an app any application number or maybe any report number you can enter that okay. so this is how you add the uh, articles manually also you can go with configure article updates okay. for example <coughs> It, it has automatically update the list of articles in my profile which is actually recommended or maybe don't automatically update my profile so if you if i select on don't automatically update my profile means it will it will send you suggestions every time okay so it will show you suggestions every time every time it will ask you okay whether to add it or not okay or else you have to manually search it and you have to add the articles according to the suggestions Okay, so it doesn't add the article automatically so that's the uh, only difference so i have selected automatically update this uh, list of articles so it will be giving the suggestions okay is this your article 
is this publication your publication so it will asking the suggestion so if i click on yes means it will add the articles automatically so here i can um, categorize it according to the title i here i can categorize it according to the year also for example descending order of years i can uh, make to also with the title also i can even with the cited by count also i can uh, order the range okay for example this one has the highest citation count 29 citations okay this paper has been followed by 29 papers okay this has been followed by 26 papers so you can have a list of them okay. so maybe here it is being displayed as 1 to 20 maybe i can click on more to even more, uh, view more articles maybe i can click on more even view a list of you know more articles as well. so i can see a list of nearly like 238 articles that has been indexed in google scholar so next you have this one three dots symbol if i click on this one i can click on this dash okay maybe i can select the articles to see merge delete and export buttons as well the same case if I click on this uh, <coughs> uh, you know select all button I can actually delete also I can also export also okay for example let us take in the case uh, if I click on this one this particular uh, you know research publication and if I click on this export I have like different formats okay like bib text end note ref mat csv so that these are like different formats where uh, you export the citation format okay like uh, if i click on the same you know, it is actually exporting my um, uh, my article okay in this format okay. maybe if i click on this open citations that e and w i'm i'm getting this this article okay in this format okay so you can you can index it wherever you want to for example maybe like uh, powerful reference managers like mendeley uh, m e n d e l e y it, uh, it is a reference manager where you will have like different formats okay so you can export in n not format also you can export in web text format you can export in csv format as well, as well and uh, whenever you are trying to you know include this one in your uh, research publication okay so you should have some particular format either you can have mla format okay apa format vancouver format chicago format okay you can have different formats or maybe different styles how you try to index your uh, research article uh, for example, okay, let us take in this case, okay, uh, this particular research article. I am trying to show you a glimpse of uh, how the uh, you know, indexing takes place. I have the you know the the journal you know the title uh, the authors as well. This was published way back in 2015. Okay, so there is a uh, some abstract and uh, some introduction. I have some existing system, proposed system, uh, simulation results, and then I have some. I'm talking about this one. Okay, for example, uh, HGM, HGO. Okay, so you have the authors, you have the title. You have the journal name as well and you have the page number as well so make sure you know whenever you have published you know trying to or maybe going to publish a research article in a journal make sure you maintain a correct format okay right uh, so the author name maybe if it is author name author one comma author two comma author three and then within double quotes you have the title of the journal and then uh, no, sorry, the title of the paper, and then you have the journal name, and then 
the month and the issue when it was published, okay, volume number, issue number, and then page number, PP, the page number, 2375 to 2380. So this is how you uh, structurally include the references, okay. So if you are maintaining this format means, maintain the same format in all of the references. Don't have uh, one format in one reference and another format in another reference, okay. And if you have a website also, try to reference its website. So, Google definitely through the product called Google Scholar, it will identify, it will intelligently identify the research articles, okay, the, the, the number of research articles, okay, which has been included in your research paper. So, if it is able to correctly identify the research article, so which means that uh, uh, the chances that uh, uh, your paper will be searched, it will be more popular and uh, whatever the references you try to include. For example, this is somebody else paper and let us take in the case if I have the name Krista Anand over here. Okay. And similarly, maybe within the research article, if there is uh, Krista Anand discuss about OBUs, HMAC, okay, let us take in the case. So, immediately Google will try to identify it and uh, immediately it will, uh, it will pop up in this section okay maybe in the citation count i will get you know citation count as well okay. so make sure whatever you try to include in the reference section for example j Zhuo, okay maybe if they, this is an author or maybe c zan okay whatever you are trying to index here similarly inside the research article there should be c zan discussed about so and so so if you are able to do that correctly and uh, definitely your article will be inside there. Okay. So, uh, there are chances that the uh, indexing of the articles might be slow, but definitely it will be indexed for sure. Okay. So, that is a thing. And uh, many of the scholars, many of the you know, researchers, uh, I do not say many of them, but some of them, they do some self citations. Okay. They're, they're, Self citations means like uh, maybe in maybe in my future papers, maybe in my future paper, maybe if I am trying to publish a research article in Embedded System or maybe Python, I try to include my own articles in my reference section. So automatically it gets cited. Okay, but the the positive thing is that okay your citation count gets increased, but uh, the negative impact is that. Uh, you are trying to include some self citations and if I maybe click on this you know, cited by column okay. I can see okay what are the uh, publications which have followed so if I am seeing the same name Krista Anand over here so it does not add any meaning so my suggestion is that do not go for you know self citations do not go for self citations instead <coughs> Uh, your work should be quality enough, your work should be popularized so that others should try to follow your research. So, over the years, over the months, okay, you should make sure that uh, whatever research publications you are trying to index, okay, every year there should be more uh, updations, more citations as well. Okay. So, this is how uh, you know, uh, the company or maybe industry or maybe organization will try to follow your works and will see, okay, this particular faculty member or maybe this particular student, this particular researcher is having some good citation. So, which means, you know, the research is still continuing, okay. Else, if you are not trying to update anything here, which means that you are not engaged, you are not participating in effort. And here you have a list of co-authors, I can actually edit them, okay. So which means I can actually remove them also, okay. If I, if I click on this remove and if I click on the stick mark, then it gets removed automatically, okay. So I can see a list of all the authors where I have indexed my research publication. So these are the list of co-authors uh, where uh, uh, or to whom I have collaborated with, to whom I have uh, engaged myself with research publications. Okay, maybe I can click on this edit section. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe I can type uh, Zan. Okay, 
the letters take in the case or uh, maybe i can go for the search section okay for example for example let us take in the case this is the author i have collaborated with okay i can click on this plus and i can click on this tick mark so this is how i can go with the uh, adding the co-authors of the event and whenever i add these co-authors it automatically gets displayed over here also i will get a suggestion also maybe uh, dr xyz have added you as a co-author do you accept it or not maybe if i go to that section okay maybe to that author there might be possibility that this author i might not have collaborated but just for the sake of citations they would have added me in okay so you know don't add those co-authors where you have not collaborated with add only the authors that you have collaborated with okay. so make sure that you do it correctly you okay. don't do it just for names and uh, here uh, okay here even i can you know, add account as well and here i can have an update okay so in my uh, profile i can see a list of new articles in my profile new citations to my articles and recommended articles so here i have clicked on this one and this is the mail id okay so weekly or maybe once in two weeks i will be getting an update okay so there are new articles matching my profile there are new citations okay there are some recommended articles in my area of research so you can have a look at them and uh, i can uh, review it accordingly and here you have the menu where you have my profile this is actually my profile and then i have my library metrics alerts and then settings if i click on this my library i can see uh, you know my library maybe if i click on this this is this one i will see my profile this is my profile it is cited by 464 people and i have have a list of uh, you know research articles where i have authored with list of articles uh, which have followed my paper everything you can see okay reading list you can find cited by me trash managed labels since 2022 since 2021 since 2018 even i can have a custom range as well similarly uh, i can have alert section as well so i can see you know what are the for example i have given uh, christo anand okay christo anand okay Within double quotes, Christo Arn. Even capital C, capital A. Okay, same thing. Or maybe uh, um, within capital letters, I have Christo Arn in this one. So whatever may be the case, I will get the uh, notification. Okay, whenever somebody tries to follow my paper, somebody cites my paper, some article has been added, so it it will show this uh, particular paper mentions your name. Okay, this particular paper has been added to your profile. So something like that. According to that, you can set the alert also. You can actually add the alert of anybody. Okay, so whenever somebody tries to add the article, you can set the alert. And you can have metrics also. So these were the top journals, top publications. Okay, which has you know the best H5 index and H5 medium. So I can have a list of. all of them and uh, you know the funding agencies as well so i can go through this one i can get an idea about what is taking place in and around and similarly i can go with the settings uh, section as well so uh, settings uh, section i can see uh, you know results for page uh, and i mean 10 results for page i can you know increase up to 20 even. and um, Uh, it uh, doesn't don't show any citation in both links. Even with several formats like web page, I'm not that man that works as well. I can have a list of them. Okay. So this is how uh, you know I see several sections. Even I go for that one search as well uh, with all the words exact phrase. Maybe uh, maybe I can maybe if I'm trying to trying very hard. find a research article where i have co-authored a research publication maybe i can go with the advanced search section well with words the exact phrase or maybe one of the words without the words any 
man ga it is again go with you know the author name the title whatever maybe i can go with the advanced search and i can uh, you know go through as okay. so this is how uh, you try to you know add the research articles and you can see how many authors have followed the your research 